Hello, Chris from My Stamp Lady here, and today I'm going to show you how to use the envelope punch board. I love this little board. Um, once you've used it a few times, it should become fairly easy. There are just there's actually one rule when you're making just a regular envelope that you need to follow, and that big rule that you need to remember is that you do only use your measuring over here. You use this measurement only once the first time. Only the after first that, time. you're going to be using the score guide and if you remember that measure only on the first time after that use the score guide you should be in good shape so I got this fun card in a swap and I really liked it and I thought well this would be fun to make a fun envelope for so I pulled out a piece of coordinating this designer five series and a half paper. by four and one quarter inch card so all of my dimensions are written here on my punch board it says card size that's your finished card size and then the middle column here is for the paper size. And then the last column tells me that one time score number, just one time. Okay, so if I want to make a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card, I'm right here. I go over, where did I, I lost it, there we go. So I'm right there. I go over and I see that my paper size needs to start at eight inches by inch, eight inches. And my first punch and score mark will happen at three and one half inches. So put that down. Here's my cards or my paper. I'm going to put it in, and it said the first score mark, or sorry, yes, no, this first score mark and punch mark will come at three and a half inches. So I go over to three and a half inches, punch, pull out my little scoring tool that fits in the little um, pocket right there and go right in here and score and I'm pulling along there's a little group for me to score okay I've got that first one done now there is a score line there for me I take that score line I mark lining it up with the score guide right there punch and score repeat turn 90 degrees line up with the score guide punch and score Turn 90 degrees, lining up with the score guide there, punch and score. There we go. Now I'm going to just fold these so that it makes them a little more pronounced, which you will end up doing anyway, but I'm going to do it right away so that you can see where those lines are. And so when you're done, your paper should look like this. It has the four flaps and the four score lines. And there's even a little guide on your board that tells you this is what you're going to end up with. So now that I can slide my bone folder back in there, and here is a reverse punch. Since this is my top and bottom flap, I can go in here and do the reverse punch and get a nice curved edge and do that again there. Okay, so now I just need to assemble my envelope. So I'm going to put it like this. I'm going this. to put some adhesive. Um, this adhesive works pretty well with, with the paper. If you have a lot of tension on it, you might want to use something a little heavier like sticky strip. And I'm just going to burnish that down so it'll hold. And then I'm going to leave it open for right now, but when I go to use my envelope, um, I'll just put some adhesive down there also. Now you'll notice that this little, I'm going to use the back side of this just so you can see in there you'll notice I have this little flap sticking up some of the envelopes have more and some have less there so I can go in and I can just leave it like this or I could go in and cut it off if I wanted to just if you wanted to make that more of a straight one and there's an envelope with your envelope punch board I also picked up a really heavy piece of white copy paper the heaviest this I could paper find is a hundred five pound paper and it's just plain white copy paper. I made the same envelope, the same directions, and it actually worked out pretty nice. Now, your thinner or your low cost basic copy paper is a little too thin. I think personally you can use it. Depends on who you're giving it to. But this heavyweight copy paper actually worked very nice to make an envelope. So you can also pick up heavyweight copy paper and make an envelope. If you have any questions about using the envelope punch board, don't hesitate to contact me, chris at mystamplady.com. And thank you for watching.